carbon could cost us the planet. Mr. Vice President, if we don't act now, it's going to be too late. There's a blurring between fiction and reality. Cancel Christmas. Because they have a political agenda. You've heard the news. 97% of scientists agree. Climate change is getting worse. Carbon could cost us the planet. Just look out the window. Look out the window? Because it's a hot day and her tiny piece of the world? How shallow is that? And what does it mean when we hear... The debate is settled. 97%. 97%. 97% of scientists agree. Of course I believe in global warming. Pat Michaels is called a climate change denier. But he agrees that the globe is warmed. 97% of scientists agree that global warming is real and people have something to do with it. Climate changes. Climate changes. Temperatures up four degrees since what's called the Little Ice Age hundreds of years ago and up two degrees over the past century. The real question is, is it dangerous? Is it going to exactly. harm people? Exactly. There's not a 97% consensus on that? Of course there's not. There's no consensus on fear-mongering like this. If we lose the ice caps, you know how high the water will be? It would come up to the Statue of Liberty's elbow. But even the UN's computer models don't predict the 20 feet that Neil deGrasse Tyson and Al Gore predict. We invited them and 20 other alarmists to make their points on this program. Only one, Bill Mumo, agreed. He worries about the hot car effect, where you put your car in the sun, it's 70 degrees outside, you get in your car, it's 140, how did it happen? That's exactly what's happening with the atmosphere. The climate models that got the government so excited have been totally wrong so yeah. far. Well, I would say the climate models are actually better than economic models. Well, right? they're both bad. Okay, that's, I, I, I wouldn't object to, to, that, to that conclusion. But, but then they're, why should we turn our lives upside down based on bad models. Because last time carbon dioxide was this high in the past, sea levels were maybe 20 feet higher than they are now. That was back before humans existed. It will resume warming, but you don't really care whether it warms a degree in the next 60 years. It warmed a degree in the last 100 years. Life expectancy doubled. A few degrees warming might be good. It might be if you, depending where you are, cold waves kill many more people than oh, heat waves. Well, I don't know. How many uh, tens of thousands of people died in Europe in uh, 2003 in the heat wave? Tens of thousands did die. Heat can kill. But many more people die from cold. The CDC says heat kills 600 Americans a year. Cold kills more than twice that many. This budget requests $1.1 billion to address climate change. The agency doesn't get money going in front of a congressional committee and say, you know, my issue, it's really not a problem. You ought to give the money to somebody else. No, instead, issues compete with each other for your money. And so you have to scare them. We have to act in this decade. As someone who gets paid to do research, I'm really excited. I'm going to go home and have fun. And so, uh, <laughs> to summarize, we have much scientific confidence that warming is contributing to sea level rise and other changes. I've lived through eight environmental apocalypses, the population bomb, acid rain, the ozone hole, global cooling, you name it. The global warming scare has longer legs because it's got more money. That also gives climate alarmists a reason to squash dissent. The climate change deniers suggest there's still a debate over the science, there is not. I bought what they were saying. Judith Curry is a climate scientist at Georgia Tech. She once agreed with the scaremongers. What changed? Well, climate gate. Emails reveal a plot among the world's top climate scientists. A group of esteemed scientists were strategizing to squash their opponents. And I thought, oh, wait a minute. Why should I believe this instead of my own judgment? What scientists actually agree on is a very narrow slice of things. Yes, temperatures have been increasing overall for the last several hundred years. No doubt. And that carbon dioxide does act to warm the planet. But there's no agreement as to whether warming is dangerous or not. For saying that, you were one of the targets of the congressman saying, show us where you get your money. Yeah, yeah. I was one of the seven. Seven climate skeptics were branded heretics in order to reveal all their sources of funds. 
Curry abandoned science. This is after praising me and pushing me a few years ago as, you know, the prestigious well, scientist. Well, you have wrong opinions now. Yeah. I was trying to be honest as a scientist. It was very unpopular with a lot of my colleagues. They were trying to squash people who disagreed with them. And they've succeeded. I get emails from people all the time who wish they could speak out. What are they worried about? Losing their jobs. It's dangerous to dissent when climate change is something politicians address with religious zeal. This was the moment when the rise of the oceans began to slow and our planet began to heal. Admit it, it's a religion. The head of the United Nations Climate Panel said it's his religion. When you emit greenhouse gases, you feel like you're committing a sin? I, I suppose if I were a preacher, I'd say we're all sinners, uh, but, but there's redemption out in, in the future. What is redemption? My wife and I decided to build a zero net energy house in New England. It's completely solar. But it's expensive? Basically, it's tax-free money for me. Yeah, taxpayers subsidize you and me. I did it too. Hey, yep. what's fair about that? That just hurts the poor. They ask all these Nobel Prize winners, what do we need to do to help the world? Yeah. Addressing climate change was way down on the list. A million people die from dysentery. Yes, absolutely. Dirty water, horrible yep. things yep. that are killing people now. Yep. And that would be cheap to fix, by the way. Cheaper than, than the rest of the do that climate. before we worry about global warming. But it's not an either or thing. But government action is an either or thing. We don't have endless money. If we want to help people, we ought to do what really helps.